in this tutorial we will actually be adding in cards so let's go ahead and create a script on our main i'm just going to call that main gd and we want to hold a reference to the new item so i can just say on ready var uh let's just say new item prefab new item prefab if i can type correctly and then i'm just going to say load and not many people know this, but you can actually just drag it and drop it into there, and that should load it in automatically. And then we want to, let's see here, should we create a function to add in a new item, or should we just do it within the actual thing here? I probably want to create a function just so it's a little bit more scalable, so I'm just going to say func create new item. We shouldn't need any parameters. Um, we might later in the course, but not right now. So we want to say, uh, I'm just going to abbreviate this. Ni is equal to new item prefab dot instance. And then we want to say ni dot get node. It's, I believe it's called label. And then we just set text to dollar sign new to do input dot text. And then we should be able to, we have to define that as var. And then we should just be able to add it to our to-do list. So to-do list dot add child and then the ni. And then we need to hook up our signal. So text enter and uh, pressed. That did not add. Pressed. Okay. Here we go. Create new item and then create new item. Whoops. Create new item. We probably also want to clear the to-do uh, input text. So text is equal to that empty string. So when we test this, we should see it working. So yes, we can add in new items. We can enter things into here. Uh, so it's already pretty much there. I also want to be able to delete cards. So I will add that in right now. So we go to our new item. We create a script. We can just call that new item. We go to our delete button, add the press to signal, and then we can just say Q free. We will need more logic later in the course, but not right now. So here, test, and then we can delete it. I can also add in a bunch of them at once, and it should work, so we should be able to delete those. Okay, so now we can move in to the next part of this course, which is marking cards as complete.